Today's math strategy video is classifying two-dimensional figures. So today's lesson, we will learn to classify quadrilaterals by their properties. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little hierarchy here, and we're going to categorize um, different types of quadrilaterals. So what we're going to do first is we're going to move our polygons, if I can move it up here, that is going to be our main category because a polygon is any plane figure with at least three straight sides. So that's a triangle, um, you know, a square, a rectangle, but what we're going to focus on are quadrilaterals. Now, one of the defining characteristics of a quadrilateral is that it has four sides and four angles. So it's any figure with four sides and four angles. So that's a pretty broad category. That's why it's at the top here. Now, we do have um, some special kind of quadrilaterals. So we have our parallelograms. And a parallelogram are defined as having four sides and four angles because it will encompass all of the qualities of a quadrilateral, but it also has two sets of parallel sides. And these two lines right here mean parallel. Now we also have um, some other types of special kind of quadrilaterals. We have a trapezoid. Now a trapezoid, probably know that it looks kind of like, I'm going to do my best to kind of draw it. Looks like this, or this can be one type of a trapezoid. So it has four sides, four angles, but it does not have two sets of parallel sides. So it only has one set of parallel sides. So it can't be a trapezoid can't be a parallelogram. It can only be a quadrilateral. Now we also have, oh, oops, we have a kite. And a kite is a special type of quadrilateral itself. It looks like this. And it has four sides, four angles, but these two sides here are congruent, and then these two sides here are congruent. So that's what sets it apart from a, a parallelogram. It doesn't have those sets of parallel sides. Okay, now, now that we've talked about um, parallelograms and trapezoids and kites, we are going to dig deeper into different types of parallelograms. So we have a rectangle. Now, a rectangle is obviously, it encompasses the characteristics of a quadrilateral, a parallelogram, but it has four right angles. Now, we also have a rhombus, and a rhombus is a type of parallelogram, but a rhombus is different than a square because, so a rectangle, when we think about a rectangle, we think about this, okay? It's got two sets of parallel sides, four right angles, four sides, four angles, okay? A rhombus, though, rhombus is going to look similar to a kite, but it's all sides are congruent. And these little lines mean that all sides are congruent. See, here I have these two lines. That means these two match. They are congruent, and then these two are congruent. Now, the main difference between a rhombus and a rectangle is that a rectangle must always have four right angles. The sides do not have to be equal to be a rectangle. So you can see in this example, all four sides are not equal. That doesn't matter. It just needs to have four right angles. Um, now, a rhombus must have all sides are congruent. Um, it doesn't always have to have four right angles. It can, but it doesn't always have to have that. So when we kind of dig deeper into that, we're talking about a square. Now, a square is always a rectangle and it's always a rhombus. But a rectangle and a rhombus can only sometimes be a square because a square 
must have four right angles and all sides must be congruent. So it encompasses some of the characteristics of a rectangle and some of the characteristics of a rhombus. All right. Now let's talk about, um, this is kind of what we just did. We talked about our polygons, quadrilaterals, and we talked about these special parallelograms and how a square can be both um, rectangle and a rhombus, but only rectangles and rhombus can only sometimes be a square. So when I look at this, it says a, it's always, sometimes, never. It says a rhombus is a square. So a rhombus is only sometimes. A square okay and then when a triangle is a parallelogram never because a parallelogram has to have the the characteristics of a quadrilateral which means it has to have four sides four angles a square is a par parallelogram always it falls under this it will always be a type of parallelogram a square is a rhombus always it falls in inside of the rhombus category it encompasses that it has four sides that are congruent a parallelogram is a rectangle this is sometimes because a parallelogram can also be a, a rhombus a square it can be other things as well and then here we have a, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral and a trapezoid, yes, it is always going to be a quadrilateral because it encompasses the characteristics of a quadrilateral with having four sides and four angles. That is the end of today's math strategy video.